Okay. Doing this as a recording instead of a stream. Uh, I want to get in the habit of recording these and then uploading so that I can, in between the recording and uploading, I can get out an editor and do things like, oh, I don't know, maybe make some things time-lapse. Maybe collect up several recordings and splice them together so when I put in a cut, it's not a completely new recording for YouTube. Um, maybe take out the sound and do a voiceover, uh, especially if I'm going to time-lapse something so I can maybe come back later with some scripted text instead of just me rambling. Anyway, so doing a recording, since the live stream, I got bored. I was waiting for red chips. As you see, we've got the red chips now. And I waited for the red chips and I built more stuff so I could make more red chips. I built more stuff so I could make more red chips. And then I built more stuff so I could make more green chips and so on. And so I ended up with the full arrays built. So let's verify what our capacities are here. The easy way to do this is on the map so I can scroll quickly. Green chips. Uh, let's do this in terms of transport belts. <clears throat> so I am consuming four transport belts of iron and four transport belts of copper. Uh, six of copper. But a boom this is exactly what I've got routed, so this will saturate its inputs. And its outputs are four full belts of green. And of all of this, I'm sending up to one belt of green back along the row to go to the mall. Okay, that's good. What have we got here for red? Again, I had the whole 10x thing Okay, so inputs, I'm using two full belts of plastic, check. Two full belts of circuits, check. Two full belts of copper, which are being split around like that. And these two belts of copper become four belts of copper cable, but they're done in, in 10 different places. So uh, what I really have are 20 half belts that are made on demand. So copper and copper cable are going to flow. And for output, I have uh, one, um, one belt of red. Oh, I thought I was building two belts of red. Well, one belt. So if I wanted to build two belts of red, I would need twice as much input. If I wanted to do it in one line, that would be twice as high. Uh, I don't want to do twice as high. I especially don't want to do twice as high and have to rework this. So we're going to do one belt of red. Um, let's see, let's make sure we prioritize it to the right, or to the left here. Come on, prioritize to the left. So we may send the whole belt back to the mall if the mall wants it. Whatever the mall doesn't want, we're going to send off that way. And this means that this belt can be used to bring something back. Well, the obvious thing you can bring back here can be blue chips. And if I remember right, the mall uses blue chips and batteries on one line. So you can put blue chips and batteries on this line. Blue chips are processors, they're kind of funky to make, and they require a lot of resources. So I am just going to assume that I'm only going to put one lane of blue chips coming to the right. And we'll join up with batteries. I don't normally put batteries on the belt, so we can have batteries built to the right of the blue chip, wherever they are, and they can come back to this guy. Uh, I can build batteries right now. I can also build accumulators and solar panels, but I haven't yet. Now, batteries are in chemical plants, and they require a lot of time and a lot of stuff, and I will usually make them on-site, but I don't do on-site for the ball, not for this stuff. So that makes sense. We'll have 
some production up near the blue chips to shuffle this stuff out and it'll send it on down to the mall. Four seconds each. So if I wanted to have half a yellow belt, that would be 15. So that would be 60 chemical plants to saturate that. That's overkill. We're not going to be making that many batteries. Not for them all. The other thing is that this red needs to go away. So I'm going to need to drain this guy off into boxes or something or send it back or something. Um, actually, if I send it back... Yeah, I'm just going to send these red chips back so they can be recycled. And I'm going to use a red belt to do it because I want to do it in a hurry. This will also remind me, because it's a red belt going the wrong way, that this is a lane I'm clearing out for something. Blue chips, for instance, and batteries. And then going off to the left, it'll carry the blue chips. Possibly a full lane. Uh, I don't know how big a scale this is going to be. We may end up with a full lane of blue chips at some point, which would require a lot more red, if I remember right. Well, we'll see when we get there. Scale for bases is an interesting thing. Uh, like I said, this base is going to be for building the mega base. This is not going to be the mega base. Uh, long run, once I get the mega base laid out with the trains and everything, I may, in fact, let my robots just come and, and rip all this stuff up. Um, or I may leave it there, but unfed to you know, be kind of the old ruins. Uh, and I have run out of red chips. Interesting. My red belts. So this pulls all the way back to here. Hold on. I didn't mean to do that. What I want to do is take these chips and shuffle them back into the inputs here as our preferred input. So this is going to require a bit more work. So this guy preferred input is from the right. And this guy, the preferred input, is from the right. And that actually fits. Uh, yeah, uh, I need to put this output red chips so it doesn't merge it onto that guy um, there so now if we have stone coming out see there we're not going to get any red chips on the stone stuff and I picked up stone again damn it Same thing here. So it's going to be something going from the left to the right. We don't know what, but something. Well, we know what, but we're not saying yet. Not in the, in the factory. I always said, you know, blue chips and, and batteries. But. So now as we use red chips, it will preferentially drag from this line here. 
So what do we need? We need to build our red science and our green science, and we need to start on our blue science. And I want to make sure our blue science lands to the left of the red chips, because we don't want to be dragging out of that one red chip line that's going down to the mall. I want to drag from our main line. So, science goes in here. I'm going to put my science labs here. I'm going to start building red chips here, red and green. Uh, we can bring our, our green chips for our science build down about there. Uh, I will move the science build around so it fits. And then the blue science will go off to the left. So we're going to do uh, blueprint out red and green science and blue science. And then move the whole thing around. But we're going to start off with the labs themselves. Now this is a perfectly functional array of 50 labs. Which I'm going to set up here. Uh, I'm going to set it up so that it is below that line. And it looks like I can center it right like that. Now, I'm thinking that this is not going to be nearly enough inserters. I've dealt with lab arrays like this before. Among other things, I didn't set up any inputs for the top line. And I'm going to want more than one red. So let's work out what this needs to look like. Um, I'm going to need to have power. Oh, and it's going to need to be in this, this row. Let's put the power here, which means we're looking at this for our top row. Which means that if we're going to be feeding it with two reds, that needs to be our geometry. Like that. Which means that we're left with that. And it means that we are going here to here to here to here. And boom. And I'm going to beef that up like that. Uh, lights. We need lights. Let's put the lights in just like that. Okay, so we've got lights. We've got our supplies, which are going to be two red inserters or a blue inserter for each one of these belts. I'm going to lock this down where it is. And we're going to need power. So, let's see here. Do I have any science labs? I have no science labs on me. This is fine. Um, I could, at this point, decommission the science build down here to pick up labs. I think I, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let me go ahead and... I gotta be running, so yeah, speed three. So the trick here is if you mark it for deconstruction first, that guarantees that the inserters aren't going to move anything and the belts aren't going to move anything. And I can mark for deconstruction all the way back through the entire science build. So these are going to stop consuming from my starter base. All the way back like that. And I will pick up the inserters and such later. But right now, though, what I'm interested in doing is getting my labs.
let's leave this at a faster speed because this is I would normally do this off camera but perhaps this is something that I may be able to edit out when I get figure out how to do editing software Now the other thing of note here is that I severed the power down to there, so let's put that back in. I really need robots. Okay, inventory is full, so we hit shift C to tent, send some stuff out, and we still have a whole bunch of stone that it didn't put anywhere, so I am going to put my stone somewhere. I'm probably going to be picking up a whole bunch of raw materials here that I don't want. Um, if I set these up at zero, does that mean that Shift-C will ditch that stuff out of my inventory for me? And did it? I think it did. So I can get rid of the raw materials as long as I've got a box nearby to carry them that has some in it. And I can go back to speed one here. Okay, so I picked up everything, and I have a whole bunch of crap in my inventory now. Uh, just gonna drop stuff in the main base, or the starter base here. So earlier I designed and built this uh, engine factory at scale. This is probably as much as I will need later on, so we'll just uh, copy paste this. Most of this um, starter base is actually going to go away. I could have left this stuff down here as a uh, a memorial, but I really needed the science labs. Maybe in the future I'll I'll leave the uh, the belts behind or something. Speaking of belts. Let's pick up some more of these and drop off some of these. I'm carrying way too many belts. I'm carrying way too many inserters. Two, three, and yeah, let's just carry three of each because I'm running out of space here. logistics robots to take crap out of my inventory for me. Um, I built some text plates a while back. I haven't really used much. There we go. I think I will go ahead and, and lay out labs. Um, what are we going to research next? We could let this be ready to research some red stuff, if any of that's interesting. No, none of that's interesting. Let's go right for advanced oil processing as our next research. Because of course we do. So shift C, split up all the science I collected between those labs. 
And now I'm going to drop the other labs back in the lab area here. We can build more labs later on. Gonna need power. Let's just bring power down here. And we can bring it over here. There we go. So this is now fully built, set of 10 labs. And our red and green science needs to come in here. So now is where I start thinking in terms of ghosting things down rather than uh, rather than actually building. Is we're going to move this left and right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, I will need to build the first couple so I can get the recipes set. So this says we need 10, yeah, 0.9. So we need one of these per 10 of those. And it means that we need to have Go to his basic inserters. We're going to need a blue inserter to pull in the plate, and a yellow inserter will be enough to send out the iron gears. So now we can build this two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Counting them. So 11 total. So this is the whole thing that we need for red science. Now for green science, we need 12 of them. Like this. And let us start working with So for power, um, let's set it up so that we can stagger them like that. I do need 12 of these to 10 of those. Now these inputs, pardon if I am skipping a lot of steps here, but the red and green arrays are so frequently built. This is green chips coming in. And I need those for inserters. Let's go ahead and build these. inserters and we need belts like that
power goes there and we're going to need to have something in the way of power down here because these guys need to output to the middle Once I get this built, I will make sure that these are all okay for yellow inserters. Um, I seem to remember that these are not okay for yellow inserters. So let's let's go ahead and just use the yellow insert, use the blue inserters. This is going to be iron in. So in theory, they are here. So is this far enough to the left? This is far enough to the left, but just barely. This will put me bring it in yeah we could do that now this means that I would now be putting in copper and iron over here So this guy needs to get cop get iron from somewhere and put out his goodies. And we're going to use yellow you're going to use blue for this stuff. You know, if I flip this the other way down here. And I'm going to put it below. No, I'm going to put it above. That's good. So now I need to somehow get copper on the left hand side of this belt. What I'm going to do is bring it in from there. Except no, that would that would deal damage to other things. Yeah, this whole thing needs to move to the left. Okay, so we need a deconstructor that deconstructs ghosts, and let's have it mark items on the ground while we're at it. So what's my best way of getting copper on the left hand side of this while also getting iron available to this guy while also still allowing my output here? Well, I would like to have my iron just come in like that. copper line. So copper comes in and goes to the inside and iron comes in and gets turned off to the left 
and that means that this guy needs to go up one to hit him. And there we are. Boom, 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 boom. So now we've got all of this. This is our, our planned out um, green and red science build. Let's snap that and think, where do I want to bring it up? I don't want to really be tangled up with these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just move it off to the left here. Um, somewhere convenient. Yeah, that gives me a nice open area to deal with. Uh, I can bring it back a bit. Um, oh, we've got a whole bunch of green schmutz up here. Let's not confound our green build. Um, if I do it here in this area, I will have some space to bring green down. Yeah, that works. So if I'm in here, uh, how much do I want to center this? If I put it like this, Just right like that. So before I commit to it, let's make absolutely sure that my green chips are in the right place. So by carefully keeping all of our taps within their lanes, I don't have to you know, I don't have to yank this around. For instance, if this guy lopped it down by one, that would be a problem. So we're here, and that's an easy tap because we are priority centered. So we're going to be off to the left here. And back to priority centered. Like that. This does mean potentially that my uh, green science, my, yeah, my green science is going to have higher priority on chips than my red chips, but that's okay. It needs to go that far. So let's pick up a bunch of these. Now this right hand one, this is what is needed for the, oh, I can put these machines down too. Since now I know that I'm going to be able to get my green chips and there's no conflict with the other ones. Let's put some put some lights in.
So, copper. Easy one. So this is another iron. <clears throat> this time we're going to take from the top. Well, we're going to take from this one. Okay, so we have our iron coming in, feeding these guys, and circuit boards coming in, feeding these guys. Both of those together are going to feed the green ship array, which I need to assemble by insert. From the right, we have the gears which are output to this belt. We have copper gears and copper come into red and we're down there. Let's check our capacities. Well, check it, the two halves. So that's perfectly balanced. And the other side, um, we are building twice as many uh, transport belts as we need. But the only way to throttle that would be to, oh, I don't know, go to a smaller machine that won't be exact. Um, not too worried about it. So on the left, the only thing that we require more than one belt for, we require five belts of, oh, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, five basic inserters, uh, transport belts. So we're still well under a transport belt of everything here. So all we need now is power. And there we go. So shortly we should see red science and an almond green science. What was our output capacity again? Uh, in terms of items per minute, we should be seeing 90 red and green science per minute. That's just off the top here, so we could get up there. Okay, so now we need to work on our blue science. And blue will end up sharing a belt with military. Uh, we are not going to be doing military soon, uh, but I'm going to ghost it out at least so we can reserve space for it. So what does this look like? Well, 
Blue science requires sulfur, red chips, and engines. So we need to have engines on site and we need to have sulfur on site. Oh lordy! Uh, all the way out over here somewhere. Uh, so if we're going to be making 90 of these per minute, items per minute is 3.75. So 90 divided by 3.75. So we need 24 machines. Uh, and the inputs are three inputs. So we have red chips and engines and sulfur. Well, we, we know that we've done engines before where we have two lines bringing in three things. So let's think about that. And I'm going to have to peel this up and ghost it down again later. So there's 30. So it'll be three times this. So it'll look like that big. And that's going to produce 90 uh, per minute. So what I really want to do is have these guys like that. At some point over here, we're going to have the military science. I can't ghost out military science yet, which means I need to research military science sometime soon so I can get that ghost down. So what do I need for military science? Uh, we're going to need military. We're going to need that and that. Oh, and he will also need that. Now we're actually going to start researching this with the red and green, which is going now. So we do this right. Like that. Military to the left and blue science off to the right. So that's our distance. Our inputs are red chips, engines, and sulfur. I really want my engines to be split across both of them because they're the high volume one. No, it's red chips that are high volume. So red chips are going to go on both sides of that somehow. Uh, let's work that out and then cuddle it in. to pause the recording and pet the cat. Pause, pause, pause. Where did pause go? I need to find a pause button somehow. I know there was one here. Okay, well I need to stop the recording then and pet the cat. 